Hi guys, this is Ranjit and in this uh, video, let's talk about the new MacBook Air M2. In fact, when I posted the video uh, uh, regarding the new MacBook uh, Pro 16 inches, I got a lot of questions regarding the new MacBook Air M2 that Apple has announced. And what do I feel about that one? And I'll give you in this video a perspective, what do I feel about that one? Considering that I still own the MacBook Air M1, I'm very pleased with this one. So I'll divide this video into six different parts so that you can get an idea of what it is um, and I've made some uh, pointers so we'll go over it uh, first we'll talk about the chip uh, set differences what are the main differences that you can see next is the hardware improvements uh, some new features that you're getting on the MacBook Air M2 what are those uh, then already if you already have MacBook Air M1 does it make sense to upgrade to the new one? Uh, next is the pricing in India because significantly the new pricing in India is a lot higher, I would say. And um, I'll also talk about the overall conclusion. And later on, I'll talk about my personal opinion. Will I be upgrading from my MacBook Air M1 to the M2? So let's go over all these pointers. And first, uh, let's talk about the chipset. And as you can see with this image from Apple, from Apple's website, it says M2 supercharged, and they say that Apple is actually claiming about 18% faster CPU performance and GPU performance up to 35%. But guys, do note that GPU, what they're talking about, that 35% improvement, I think so they're calculating with the uh, 10 GPU cores, but the default configuration that you get in the base variant, that comes with the eight core processor and an eight core uh, GPU. Just be aware of uh, that. You have to bump up or upgrade to go with the 10 core GPU. Uh, next big thing, and I think so here is an improvement with the M2 chip. Uh, the M2 chip uh, uh, can actually access up to 24 gigabytes of RAM. The M1 maxed out at 16 gigabytes. So again, this can be a sort of useful for certain uh, segment of the users. I would say, uh, uh, if you use Adobe products like Lightroom or Photoshop, these are very RAM hungry. Uh, so yeah, that can benefit, I would say. For, but for most of them, 16 gigabytes is more than enough. But again, special case scenarios, yes. Uh, the big improvement, I would say, from the M1 is the bandwidth that you're getting the m1 uh, chips had m1 air had a bandwidth of 50 gigabytes here they have bumped it to 100 gigabytes so this i feel is a very big improvement uh, if you notice this image this is the actual architecture of the m2 chip and the big improvement as i've told you now you can get up to 10 core gpu with the macbook air m1 it was 8 8 core gpu and the 8 core cpu here you can bump up to 10 core if you want uh, but again uh, that's uh, you have to spend extra for that one but apart from that if you're sort of a video editor or something i like this one because this feature is actually brought down from the M m1 pro or the m1 max chip that is this chipset now has prores video hardware encoding and this is a big deal if you're using prores video or some of the higher codecs uh, it will actually work a lot faster so that is something that is very interesting and i uh, never thought that apple will bring it to the regular chips so that's actually a nice thing uh, now moving to uh, performance numbers that we have seen from Apple, they are telling about 18% improvement in regular stuff and about 35% in GPU. In real world guys, expect anywhere about 12 to 15% improvement in the GPU and uh, in the uh, what is a CPU and something like that you can expect about anywhere from about 20 to 30% uh, depending on what application that you are using. Now let's move to the next part that is some of the hardware improvements that we are seeing on the new MacBook Air M2 and guys this is a redesign of the MacBook Air after a long long time. So it is redesigned now completely but the big change that I see compared to the older M1 Air is regarding the screen. Yes the screen size has increased slightly that's not a big deal 13.3 inches to 13.6 inches but the big deal is the quality of the screen. Uh, if you uh, uh, see it's supposed to be actually 500 nits in brightness whereas the regular macbook air is 400 nits in brightness it's adequately bright i would say even outdoor situation but i always felt slightly better improved brightness in direct sunlight when i was working would have been better uh, on this m2 it's that the thing in fact 500 nits of brightness is the same brightness actually that you get on these bigger macbook uh, uh, what do you say uh, 16 inch pro and the 14 inch uh, pro so that way it is nice so we are getting 500 nits of uh, brightness but apart from that this is a big upgrade i would say the new macbook air m2 is now actually having a 10-bit 
panel uh, and it can produce up to a billion colors that's a big deal and i would say normal users uh, if you're not very critical of about colors for example with photo editing and stuff you do or video editing you do with hybrid codecs like 10 bit uh, videos you will not notice it but for that certain uh, uh, segment of users who are bucking uh, working with high-end cameras that can shoot in 10 bit 12 bit you will appreciate the uh, improvement in the color depth that's a billion colors the regular one is a 8 bit screen 16.6 .6 million colors this is 1 billion in fact this is almost i was again surprised that apple brought it down these were reserved generally for the higher end laptop so they brought it down so that is what i like and again it's a very color accurate screen p3 uh, gamut that you are getting also a uh, small improvement is that now even this one is actually having that notch like the pro series but hardly when you're working it you don't notice it but this is now supposed to have a better 1080p camera compared to the 720p web camera. So again, this is uh, these are the general improvements. But one more improvement that I see on the new MacBook Air M2, and this might be helpful for advanced users or users who always like to work connecting your MacBook Air to an external display. The thing with the regular MacBook Air M1 is, guys, you just have two USB Type-C ports, and charging also has to be done from this one. Let's say uh, if you're using an external monitor, one of the USB ports is actually used with that and you have just one from there where you'll be charging and you don't have any ports but on this m2 air they have brought back the max safe connector so well, you are just charging the laptop, uh, you have those two uh, USB ports to free. And even if you connect one to your body, say monitor, you have one port free. So for advanced and heavy users or who, people who are connecting uh, their laptop to the external display, I think so. The addition of MagSafe is an important thing to consider. Uh, next thing uh, is, let's say you already have the MacBook Air M1 like I have. Uh, what, what do you feel about it? And I would say if you are already happy with the performance of the MacBook Air, it is okay. Also, if you're not a very super heavy user, existing stuff that you're running on your MacBook Air, you never uh, felt that it was slow or having that beach ball and stuff like that slowdowns, then I think so you can skip the M2. And also, are you able to manage with that two ports as of today? If you're sort of an advanced user connecting to a monitor, then that might be important. And uh, uh, now let's talk about the pricing of these MacBook uh, Air uh, M2 in India. In fact, Apple has also officially increased the pricing of the regular MacBook Air M1. But I was able to uh, get a uh, check at least today when I was making the video, the original MacBook Air M1, this one uh, at the old price at around 92,000 something on Amazon. I'll leave the link. But let's talk about the official pricing of the new MacBook Air M2. And as you can see with this screenshot, uh, the base variant now has been bumped up to 1 lakh 99,900, almost 1 lakh 20,000. So significant price uh, uh, gap difference, I would say almost 28,000 more compared to the older MacBook Air M1. Uh, M1. And if you want to go for the higher end version that comes with the what do you say uh, that 10 core GPU and they bump up the storage from 256 to 512 gigabytes uh, then the price becomes uh, even insaner at 1,49,900 almost 1,50,000. So certainly these are now not very affordable laptop. For example if you have seen my review of the original MacBook Air M1 I said that I paid this much and I got the performance like this one but now that's not the case with the M2. Apple is certainly charging a premium and guys if you are sort of a video editor as Apple is talking about greater GPU power on this one because you can configure it uh, to up to 10 cores whereas uh, regular M1 you could only configure up to, up to 8 cores of GPU uh, for the base variant uh, guys that comes with 8 core uh, GPU as you can see with this screenshot if you are upgrading to that uh, 10 core uh, GPU then the price increases to about 10,000 so if you are sort of a video editor editor or something you use a lot of uh, that high uh, codex high-end codex then maybe this uh, 10,000 rupees upgrade in the CPU is sort of worthwhile but again guys remember the base variant still comes with 8 gigabytes of RAM and again the RAM upgrades are super super expensive on this uh, uh, laptop in fact uh, the pricing of the RAM as you can see is just crazy uh, from 8 to 16 20,000 and from uh, if you want to 24 it's almost 40,000 upgrade so uh, the RAM upgrade are very very expensive on this lap in fact for a, a video editor kind of a thing if you want a pretty decent machine i think so this is the configuration that i personally like but uh, that is the 10 core gpu uh, 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 that i have bumped so the price has bumped up to 10,000. ssd 512 gigabytes from 256 and the ram upgrade if you do 
from 8 GB to 16 GB, see the price, the price goes up to 1,69,900. So certainly it can uh, become very, uh, very expensive. So certainly not that great, super affordable value that we found with the M1. Now to give you an idea, the major big differences between these two. And uh, as you can see, I have made a very crude chart. I'll just paste it over here. As you can see here, uh, the MacBook Air, it's definitely more affordable at around 92,000. Whereas the MacBook Air M2 starts at about 1,20,000. That's a significant price bump that you're getting. Yes, the improvements on the MacBook Air M2 are that it's having a better 10-bit panel, uh, 10 bit panel screen and slightly brighter also at 500 nits. And also it will be approximately about 15, 12 to 15% faster than the M1 chip. Uh, and I feel especially for video editing work and stuff, you can see an improvement anywhere from about 15 to 30% on this one. Uh, but again, uh, that will depend if you are opting for that 10 core uh, GPU. Also that improvement in the webcam is definitely there. And that extra MagSafe port, uh, which can free up the Type-C port if you always found that the two ports on the original MacBook Air M were, were limiting to you. Uh, and so again, this gives you a difference about uh, that one. Now. Let, let me talk about my personal take on uh, this one. What will I be doing? I already have the MacBook Air M1 and uh, I, I generally use this as my travel laptop and stuff like that. And uh, this is the, the thing that I'll be doing. Uh, I've written it down. So uh, let me talk about that. Personally, I'm not planning uh, to upgrade from my MacBook Air M1 to the M2 as of now. My MacBook Air still will be my portable laptop. I will wait till next year and see if Apple releases the rumored MacBook Air 15 that they are rumored to be releasing in uh, early 2023. And then I might upgrade to that one. In fact, during the uh, la uh, pandemic last year, I created about 100 odd videos on this channel using this MacBook Air M1 and those were again all in 4K and still in a pinch if I need to edit some videos I can still do the editing on this MacBook Air M1 so I'm going to skip the MacBook Air M2 as of now but uh, do let me know what do you guys feel about the MacBook Air M2 uh, will you be buying the MacBook Air M2 and if you already have the MacBook Air M1 will you be upgrading to the MacBook Air M2 do let me know in the comment section would love to know your thoughts about that but anyways guys that's it for now for this video and if you guys are still not subscribed to the youtube channel hit that subscribe button this is ranjit and i hope to see you in my next video take care guys